Hey, so I was just watching this video um, with Gary V and Ryan Moran. And at the end of the video, for me, there was a point where I had a major realization for myself. Well, I mean, what I'll say is I've talked about this before um, in videos in the past. And it's not necessarily a realization. It was just, I felt like Gary expressed a point in a very lucid way and i just want to reiterate this point about how basically he was saying that a lot of kids go into their 20s and 30s taking money from their parents secretly and it's causing massive depression right now in the u.s and not even just the US, but in Western society in general. And it's something that I've seen personally within my family, but also within among friends as well. And there's a conflict here because on the one hand, a parent wants to give to their kid. They figure that if they have the money, they're gonna give it to their child. But what ends up, what ends up happening is if the child never is allowed to really develop or cultivate skills for themselves or look after themselves or actually make money on their own, their self-esteem is just getting eviscerated. And I read this in the Six Pillars of Self-Esteem as well, is what happens is if you never really have that feeling of earning your own money, then your self-esteem gets chipped away until you're left with nothing. It just continues to erode and it leads to depression. And I've actually spoken with people on sales calls, for example. And I remember this one really clearly where I think the kid was 25 years old and he was living at home with his dad and didn't have a job. And I was listening to his whole story and I asked him if he wanted to join our program and he said, it sounds great, but I have to talk to my dad. And then he actually had me, he said, my dad wants to speak with you. And I spoke with him and he was number one, just super disrespectful. Um, he was just coming directly at me as a salesperson, just saying like, how dare you come to my son and try to have him join a program and the son was talking about how the dad was about to buy him this thousand dollar guitar and I'm selling a self-development program to help him better his life. And in that moment, the dad said, he's supposed to use this money for this guitar. And I'm thinking to myself, is that what you want or is that what he wants? Because your son, he told me a different story on the phone where he wanted to join the self-development program. He wants to become his own man. He wants to be able to do all these things. He has his own ambitions, but you're forcing this upon him. He already has a guitar collection. He was telling me about this, all these guitars his dad was buying him. But he's keeping him at home. And Gary Vee talks about this too. It's like he's a zoo animal. He keeps... A lot of times parents just keep the kids at home or they, they just continue to feed the child money, almost like a zoo animal, right? Because you just feed them enough to keep them alive, but they never get to go in the wild and fend for themselves and actually grow and develop into an adult. They're stuck in emotional adolescence. And a lot of times it's because the parent is compensating for their own childhood especially if, let's say, they grew up in an environment where their parents weren't really providing very much for them, they don't want that same feeling for their child. So what ends up happening is they start to overparent or they start to be overly supportive in a financial way, but they're not actually teaching or allowing the child to develop into their own person. They don't actually teach them about financial intelligence. And so it's actually destructive because 
if you think about it, and there's this analogy of a tree, for example, a lot of times trees, when you plant a tree and you allow it to grow, you first start with sticks and ropes supporting the tree until it gets to a certain height. Then you have to let the sticks and ropes go and let the tree fend for itself with the wind and the conditions of nature. Otherwise, it's going to get too weak because it's not going to grow roots. And if it doesn't grow roots into the ground, if it doesn't learn how to deal with the wind and external factors, it just falls over and it dies. So very much in the same way, it's like with a child, if you never allow a child, if you don't allow those sticks to fall away or you don't take out the sticks or you don't take out the ropes and you never let the child develop into their own person or fend for themselves, they're gonna be stuck and they're not, not gonna grow roots. And a lot of times it results in depression and sometimes suicide or death. So, the reason I talk about this is just because Gary Vee talks about it. I've heard other influencers talk about it here and there. It's not really something that's talked about very commonly. And I think this is something that it doesn't have a lot of awareness right now. And it's almost kept a secret because the parents don't want to, the parents are kind of lost a lot of times. Like the, a lot of times the parents will feel like they're good parents in the sense that they're providing for their kids financially. And the kids don't know what to do because the money is their life support. That's how they're, they're living. So they don't want to stop the money, but they are resentful towards their parents, but also they're resentful towards themselves. Because every time they receive money, it's basically telling them, I can't support myself. I can't support myself. I'm worthless. All these thoughts start coming up and they don't know how to deal with it because on the outside, people tell them, you're so lucky to be receiving this money. You should be grateful. First world problems. And they dismiss all these problems saying it's insignificant, right? A lot of, so let me just say this is, let's say for example, I'm the kid receiving the money and you say to me, why are you complaining? Your parents is giving you money. That's first world problems, right? You shouldn't be worried about that. Why? Like you should be grateful. You should be happy. You're so lucky. Now the child in this case is really hating themselves even more because they're like, yeah, I should, but I'm not feeling that way. That's not emotionally how I'm feeling. I'm feeling resentful. I hate myself. I'm worthless. I can't survive on my own. And so there's a conflict there. And that's where the issue comes into play. And that's why I feel like it's one of the issues that isn't talked about enough in terms of the rates of depression around this. Because a lot of times it causes self-resentment and sometimes self-harm in extreme cases. But I just want to share that because I think Gary made a very important, important point in that video. And this is just my take on it because I've seen it very, very personally in my own life, in my family, and also in the lives of people that are close to me in terms of friends and, and other people that I know. So that's what I want to share for today and we'll talk soon.